How do you think the course played today? You know what? Uh, I'm actually quite thankful that they might have over dried out the greens uh, early in the week, so they had to put a lot of water on them. And um, the greens that were receptive today, which is, you know, unusual for this golf course. Uh, normally, if you miss the fairway right on 11, you have no chance of hitting that green. And I was able to stop it on that green today, which I was very surprised. But uh, no, the course is very receptive. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenge for them going down the week with the wind. Uh, they're going to have to take uh, close care on, on what happens with the greens drying out. Minus five, uh, currently one back. Do you think that's a score that's going to position you pretty well into the weekend? You know what? Um, between now and Sunday is a long way. Um, the way I played today, um, I got very lucky. Every time I missed it, I missed it in the right spot, so I, I kept the stress to minimum. But, uh, this golf course isn't going to let you get away with three more rounds like that. So I've got a lot of cleaning up to do between today and tomorrow and uh, going forward. Rory, first of all, where's the silver medal? Uh, the silver, silver medal somewhere safe. Okay. Um, are you aware that this is your first round that you did not make a bogey here? In On this golf course, yes, I'm very well aware of it. I said it to my caddy walking up 18 to the green. I said it to my caddy walking up to 18 to the green today. So what was the key for you doing that? As I said, uh, when I did miss it today, I actually missed it in the right spots. Um, other than four, which uh, there's no good spot to miss it on four, unfortunately. But uh, um, the rest of the round, I actually I missed it in good spots that it was pretty easy and, and pretty straightforward up and down. So I was, I was managed to uh, save pars with uh, very little stress. Roy, what's the biggest change between you now and when you won this tournament? Well, I'm a lot older, for one. Um, secondly, uh, you know what? It's I'm, I'm, I'm getting that point in my game where I think I've gotten past where I feel like I'm, I hate to say it, truly competitive out here. There's too many you know, guys out here that have much more firepower. So I've just got to kind of pick and choose my way around the golf course. So to me, it's become more of a chess game and less about, you know, throwing some uh, darts out there. So. Yeah, you know, I think I just learned to maximize what my abilities are and stay away from my inabilities. When sure. did you when did you act, actually recognize that? Uh, it's been a quite a rapid transition over the last two years. Um, you know, it's just when you're playing with guys, when you play two guys in your group and their combined age is less than yours, you start thinking, "Wow, this is this is not my this is not my sport anymore." And then also the um, obviously with the silver medal, do you feel like that re reinvigorated you, changed your mindset on how how you can compete out here? What did it do for you? To me, that was like putting the sprinkles on top of the ice cream. It was just a little a little added bonus at the end. Um, you know what? Um, I'm out here. I'll I'll keep running the course as long as I can. But uh, you know, it's it's kind of like it, it's getting to that time where it's getting close to me being bucked off and. Uh, got to go find something else to do. Rory, do you feel like, I mean, you talk about becoming a chess player, so to speak. Isn't this place kind of made for chess players? I mean, no one's going to come out and just Well, bomb. This, this, this is a golf course that, uh, in effect, even though it's, it's not necessarily a short golf course, um, but it definitely puts a premium on controlling the golf ball, not necessarily on power um, or on accuracy. It's just controlling your, your misses and uh, controlling your distances more than anything. Yeah. So. Cool. Thanks, Thank guys. Appreciate it.